What is up everybody out there on YouTube? You know you're like, you know, what am I still doing in the truck after I told you guys that I were going home? I was actually on the way home and they stopped me and was like, hey, this is a time sensitive load. We, we're gonna put a team on it. Almost out of Utah, right on the border of Utah and Nebraska. They had me stop right there and swap a load. And the guy that I swapped with, this load was going back into Utah. So I'm actually in Spring, uh, I believe it's Spring Hill, um, Utah. I got a, a delivery over here at Nestle at 7 a.m. in the morning, but Believe it or not, it's only a mile away from here. I'm at a truck stop. This is a Flying J. You know, normally I stop at Love's or TA's, but speaking of truck stops, um, as you can see, this truck stop is full, full to capacity, right? And they got about, you know, eight, nine showers maybe at the most. And um, the showers is empty. It's not a damn soul in the shower. It's not just today. It's like that every time I get in the shower, every time I take a shower, I mean, it's free game. I walk in there and I'm able to take a shower <laughs> with, with no weight. You would think that this truck stop hold maybe, I know at least 100 trucks. And out of 100 people, at least minimum, because one let's say one person per truck, you would think it's 100 people here and nobody's in the shower. Seen dudes get out their truck, bro, and they're filthy. They're straight dirty. I'm like, damn, dude, what, what the hell you been at? The most manual labor that we do is you know, back up to the trailer, let the legs down, you know, pull the fifth wheel, unlock it, and hook the trailer hoses. That's that's the most manual thing we do. For the most part, we ride, drive, and ride. That's that's all we do, you know? So I don't know how these dudes be that filthy for one and, and be going and be going days without taking a, a shower, man. I'm supposed to be home since Monday, but they're working on getting me home, so they say. So I should be home pretty soon. You know, I know the kids miss me. The only thing that's disappointing, I told my kids, you know, when you set home time, expect it to get home at a particular time, you know, you get people the heads up. That's why I just show up home. You know, I just, you know, surprise everybody, you know, my lady and my, my boys, you know, I just show up home and surprise them because if I let them know a time that I'm coming, this company do have a reputation of not getting people home and you don't get home when, when everyone is expecting you. It's a little bit disappointing. So, but the most thing, the most disappointing thing about it is that, you know, my kids were expecting me and daddy have to be like, you know, uh, I'll be home soon or shortly or whatever the case is. So it's one o'clock here and uh, the, the mall is actually right down the street too. So I'm probably going to walk there. I don't know, man. It's about a mile away. So a mile long walk there, a mile back. So I'm here. So I had to catch an Uber because it wasn't no walking route and um, it was two miles away. So I decided to catch an Uber and now I'm at the mall. So I might have just mosey around, check it out. They got a movie theater too, depending on what's playing. I might go catch a movie or something, but that's what I'm doing right now. Just at the mall, hanging out. Like I said, I'm delivered to 7 a.m. So I'm gonna just hang around here for the day and um, see what happens. So it's pretty dead in here. You know, looks similar to, to my mall during the week. So y'all already know my first stop about to be a shoe store. So let's see if we can find a shoe store. Check out this view, guys. See the mountains out there? So empty mall. This is Utah. Oh, there's a champs over there. Black cats. Those are on sale. Looks familiar. That's pretty much all they had to offer in there. Was those few pair, pair of J's I saw. Um, man, this ball is empty. The shoe department encore. See what they got. Similar to the LeBron Low. Those are not LeBron Lows though. Similar. So that was a complete waste of time. They only got one shoe store in here, and that's Champ Sports. Oh look. When you got truck driving, Wi-Fi is hard to come by. And AT&T AT data plans are ridiculous. Guys, I tried. Um, it's the movie theater over there. 
it's about 2.15. Movie don't start until four, so I think I'm gonna do that. But in the meantime, I don't know. I guess I'll find something to do, you know, before I head back to the truck. Provo, P-R-O-V-O, Provo? Downtown Provo? Maybe. you know from the truck stop I caught an Uber to the little mall which reminds me about some Savannah Mall how how dead it was but now it looks like I'm downtown Provo and um, I had to walk here so probably catch an Uber back like you know if you got a little time and you're in the city being able to get out here and see stuff is that considered a perk like you wouldn't just pick this to come travel and go to but because you're here, you actually get to see a place that you probably wouldn't even think about coming to. So I think that's that's a good perk of you know being a truck driver over the road. That is. Looks like all these places are closed. I didn't open the doors on them to see if they were open or not, but there's nobody there. It don't look like they get much business, but um, definitely a unique place. So of course I was checking the app for work and um, I already got my next load so it picks up right here after I drop off this this load in the morning picks up in the same area going to Arkansas so Definitely a unique place, um, but I, I really have that, you know, out of place feeling here. So um, I'm about to go ahead and head back to the truck because, you, of course, I got this delivery in the morning. So, but um, this is it, guys. Um, Provo, Provo, Utah. Um, like, comment, always positive comments. Thank you, guys, as always, for watching my videos. And until next time, see you in the next video.